Hello there and welcome to Adicraft. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build this classic red barn in your world, so don't go anywhere. Here's the materials you'll need in 1.19. If you're building in a version before that, you'll need to switch out the mangrove wood for some red concrete and the mangrove logs for some red terracotta. The barn has a footprint of 15 blocks wide by 19 blocks long and it also has an extra section that is 4 blocks by 9 blocks that you can put on either side but I'll be putting on the right and the grain silo itself is a circle with a diameter of 7 blocks. Firstly on each of these 4 corners on the main building we're going to build up 8 blocks with some smooth quartz. Next we're going to build up 4 blocks on each of these corners. At the front, come in and leave one, two, three blocks, and then on the fourth block, we're going to build up to five on each of these two sides for the entrance. Now we're going to take a line of mangrove planks across the top of this door, and then from this pillar right the way across to the other side here, we're going to fill everything apart from this doorway in with these mangrove planks. We're also going to fill in the side and the back right the way to the top with the mangrove planks as well. Next on this side section we're going to build this block all the way up to the same height as the pillar and the two next to that we're going to build one block higher like so. Then on this side we're going to build all the way across so it connects up and comes up to and includes this corner like this and when we get to this stage we're going to go one block above and bring this all the way across. And then we're going to do the same at the back here so this comes up to the same height and then one block higher on these two blocks and we're going to fill in this entire wall that goes right the way across and we're also going to fill in in between these pillars. At this point you will have a box that looks like this with an extra bit on the side. Now around this side we are going to come to the middle block here and we're going to knock out one, two, three blocks and then coming inside here we're going to place ourselves a spruce door with a lintel of smooth quartz above that. Then we're also going to place a smooth quartz here and here take out this block and this block and place ourselves a white stained glass pane in the sides. We're also going to do the same, we're going to place a white stained glass pane with a lintel here and do the same at the back on this block as well, so just like this. Then at the front we are going to add ourselves in some windows, these ones are going to be three high with two glass and a smooth quartz at the top on each side as well. Now at the sides we're going to count in one, two, three blocks and on the fourth we're going to knock out three space. I'm going to make a window here. Then we're going to go one, two, three, four and on the fifth one which should be the centre block of the wall we're going to knock this out and again make another window here. And then we're going to go one, two, three, four and on the fifth block which leaves us three blocks on this side. We're going to have the final window on this side here. Then coming round to the back we're going to go one, two, three and on the fourth block another window here just like so and then from this side we're actually going to leave one two and on the third block we're going to knock out all the way up to the top here place a lintel in the top and then come from the inside and place a door and then using shift click we're going to place a trap door on top of this door just like so now we're going to put a roof on this leaning section and we're going to run a line of deep slate tiles across here and that's the slabs and then we're going to run four blocks next to that going right the way across between these two points. Another line of four blocks at the back here just like so and then another line of tiles coming across just in front. All the way around this we're going to use ourselves some smooth quartz and we're going to place a block and a block there and then we're going to run some slabs, two slabs here, two slabs here and then a line of slabs coming right the way across the front of the build just like this and then the same on this other side so a full block and a full block there with some slabs. Now if you did want to save yourself some resources on the smooth quartz you could use some polished diorite or some birch it won't look quite as good but it is obviously a cheaper block. Now we're going to fill in the arches at the end so first of all we're going to come up two blocks then we're going to come up three blocks next to that then two more blocks, two more blocks, another two blocks along here, three along the top and then we're going to come down and out three blocks like this, down one and across one, down one and across one again, down two, across and then connect that up. And then once we've done this we're going to fill in all of this gap and do the same at the back. 
Now we've got the two ends in place, we're going to add some windows in the entrance to the hayloft. So we're going to come level to the door here. We're going to go up one, two blocks, and then we're going to knock out five across. So that will just be inside these two pillars. Then that is going to be a total of four blocks high, and we're going to knock out this entire gap so four blocks by five blocks here we're then going to mirror this at the other end and we are in the side going to have four of the smooth quartz blocks with three of the slabs going across the top like this and then five of the slabs going just in front of those and like i say we're going to do the same at the other end either side of this we're going to leave one block and then we're going to knock out three blocks here and knock out three blocks here put a lintel in the top with two of the white stained glass to make a window either side of this hayloft entrance just like this we're then going to add ourselves another line of the smooth quartz here so all of these steps we will do at the other end as well sticking out the back and then on the front here we are going to add an extra line of the smooth quartz slabs coming across because this is going to be the railing that's going to hold the doors that would shut when you've done the back as well just to make sure you've got it in the right place in the middle these three blocks should be one two three and four before you get to this smooth quartz here. The next step before we put the roof on is going to be coming to the sides of the building and all the way around and adding in as many or as few of the stripped mangrove wood logs that you would like. Before adding the roof there is a slight adjustment that I'm going to make and that is to take out these three blocks and then the two on either side of this so you'll have five blocks in the centre and we'll do that at the front and the back. For the roof we're going to start with some deep slate tiles we're going to place one here and here one on the side of this three across the middle and then the same down the other side we're then going to take some slabs one slab is going to go here and one next to this side and then the same on the other side and now we're going to connect these up using some stairs like so all the way across the build like this and then as you'll see you've got a nice shape on your roof and then run these lines all the way along to the back as well now we've got the roof in place we're going to come along and we're going to put a smooth quartz block in front of all of the deep slate blocks that we've got i'll just show you on one side here and that includes all of the slabs and the stairs as well so coming around from the side with the stairs also underneath we are going to place ourselves an upside down stair and a stair coming out this way that's right way up and this is going to form a line going right the way across the build on both the sides. Underneath as well, we're going to fill in some of these gaps with an upside down stair here, two upside down stairs there. And this one is going to have a slab just to connect things up and make it look a little bit more substantial. So do that on both the sides and at the back as well. One final embellishment that we're going to make is take out this middle block and replace that with a upside down stair. And that gives us this lovely classic barn shape. And now we're going to add the barn doors. So firstly, we're going to come to this pillar. We're going to place ourselves three of the spruce trap doors. Then we're going to layer these on top using shift click up to this point and then make sure all of these are closed. So we've got one barn door that is going to be open. And then on the other side, we've got one that's partially closed. So again, starting from this pillar, but going this way, we're going to add our layers of those trap doors right the way up like so and again close these and that gives us a door that is closed alongside the one that's open on the inside of the build now we are going to add some structural pillars going up so coming in on the fourth block on the fifth block rather this way and the fourth block this way we're going to place ourselves a stripped dark oak log and again fifth block this way and fourth block from where this edge would be here and then the same at the back here and here to give us some of these pillars these are going to go all the way up to the ceiling we're also going to add some additional supports so we're going to have a a pillar that's coming right the way across the build that goes just above this window and then if we pop outside we're going to carry it on three blocks out here and then we're also going to carry it on four blocks out the front so one two three four like so now we're going to add some cross beams and the first beam that we're going to have is going to be coming out just above this pillar and one on this side and these are going to connect in here this is then going to come across and also connect up to the walls on either side and you guessed it we're going to do the same at the back bringing that out across and connecting up here as well on all of these sides so this is going to come out in all directions at this level to give us the right height for the next floor also going to take out this line of blocks 
and replace them with some of the stripped dark oak as well. So fill all of those in. Round the edge, what we're then going to do is fill in all of this space with some of the dark oak slabs just coming out and filling in the gaps, but not this middle section. This is going to be open right the way up to the roof. Now we've got this floor in place, we're going to add some more beams at the top of the build. So the first one on both of the sides is going to be level with this lintel and just here. We're then going to come up to the next one that's level with this beam that we've already put in place. Then we're going to have one final set of beams going across the build just here and here right the way across. Then from the sides we're just going to link this one into the edges of the build like so and again do that on both sides and at the back now that that's done we're going to add some lanterns for some light so here up at the top we're going to add a lantern on each of the sides here and here at this cross beam so again just on this side here and here and that will light up the entire upper floor then downstairs we're going to have a lantern on each of these two ends one in the middle on each of these as well coming through here one in the middle just like this and then we are also going to have a lantern in the middle on each of these sides so that then lights up all of this interior now we're going to add ourselves a ladder up to the second floor and we're going to come to the back here the corner opposite the doorway and we're going to add ourselves a line of the trap doors coming right the way up to the top here and then we're going to close all of those then being very careful to shift click we're going to place some ladders right the way along to the top here you can even if you wish leave that bottom ladder because you can still jump and climb up this side we're also going to add ourselves a fence around this top level so we're going to add using some spruce fences leaving a gap for the ladder we'll connect all of this all the way up all the way along the back and this side as well but at the front here we're just going to have two fences on either side and this is so that the hay can come through the actual build itself now we're going to add in the floor and for this we're going to use a mixture of blocks firstly what we're going to do is have a number of path blocks coming through inside so whilst it's grass or dirt then obviously just use the path blocks coming through we're also going to use some rooted dirt if you have any if you don't then just you can use coarse dirt you can use regular dirt but the problem is that the grass may then spread onto it but yeah just fill in as much of this as you like in any kind of proportions just until the entire interior is either dirt blocks and path blocks and then there's a little bit outside as well now that the floor is in place it's already starting to look fantastic and we're going to decorate the inside now so within this area we are going to first of all come over to this section and using some trap doors we're going to create ourselves a little water trough going around like so and fill that with water along like that and that gives us an infinite water source over on this side we're gonna create ourselves a bit of a pile of barrels just coming out round here like this going in any direction that you like really and then we're gonna start building ourselves some of the pens so the first thing we're gonna do is create a pen here and we're gonna do this by putting some of the fences around and two fence gates here so that'll allow us to get animals in easily then we're going to add a little bit of a water trough in here by adding ourselves a cauldron and then just a couple of hay bales as well in the corner so that if you've got a horse or something in there it's got something to eat we're going to create two more of these so exactly the same way just adding some fences here with an entrance way that's a couple of fence gates like so and then adding again ourselves a cauldron here it's important that you don't put the cauldron or the hay bales right next to the fences because that will then mean that your animals can actually climb over uh, but yeah just put them wherever you fancy and you can have as much or as little of the hay as you like in there the final one of them is going to come over here so we'll just connect this up in the same way that we did previously. And again, a cauldron. Let's have our cauldron here this time. Fill it with water and add ourselves a little bit of hay just here, just like this. So there you've got your pens. The next thing to do is simply to add some further decoration. So what we are going to do is add ourselves an anvil in case we needed to shoe any horses. And then we're going to add ourselves some various different things. So for example, we're going to add a bit of a pile of the uh, hay bales here, going in various different directions, uh, directional blocks there 
and just adding a few piled up here. Add some piled up against the walls, as many as you like again. Not too many, but just enough to kind of give the effect that you want. And then we're also going to use some barrels to do a similar thing, some piles of barrels coming out in the various different directions, making sure to shift click these and pop them throughout. We're also going to decorate the upstairs in the same way around the sides with some barrels and some hay bales here as well. And in these pens or various different places, if you want to add just an extra little touch, you can add in some of this sole soil uh, to make it look like there ha has been some uh, animal usage, shall we say, within these areas. So yeah, if you want to do that, that's another nice little touch that you can fill in. So put in those decorations and then we're almost done with the barn itself. Now that the decorations are added on the inside, we have the final finishing touches on the outside. So first of all, at the back, we're going to use three of the spruce trap doors like so. And then we are going to place ourselves going this way, a grindstone like this. From that, we're going to have a chain hanging down. So we just shift click into that. Above this door, we're going to add ourselves a little lantern just hanging down like so. And then at this side door, we're again going to add a couple of lanterns with some fences either side just like this to make it safe. Coming around to the front here, we are actually going to add an additional log like this. And then we are going to add again three of the spruce trap doors going the right way so they look like they're wrapping around. And then again, adding some of these grindstones in. What we're going to then do is add a chain between and then a chain coming down like this. Now we're going to add ourselves a little hanging platform that's being winched up and we're going to do that by adding first of all a couple of the nice hay bales here and then just filling some of these in uh, with some of the spruce trap doors underneath to make the platform. So again, just put these however you think is right. Uh, I'm just going to add another little one here like this, just like so. So we've got this little hay bale cart thingy that's coming up and then we're going to surround that with some signs. And these are again spruce signs to make sure that they are actually connected and look a bit structural here. And there we have the outside of our lovely little barn. The one other thing that we can do is just add ourselves at the edges here some more of the lanterns just hanging down just to give a little bit of light here to the outside at the front and yeah that's the barn done now we will work on the silo one other little touch to finish first is we're going to add a couple more of these grindstones going across into the middle here so we will have the last grindstone here right in the center and then we will connect these up using some final chains just to finish the look so that it looks like this can be hauled right the way across and then lowered down at this point. Now for the silo, we're going to build this in layers. So the first layer we're going to do is going to be around this circle in smooth quartz. Then we are going to have five layers of the mangrove planks like so. When you're building this, make sure you put in some of the strip mangrove logs as well to break it up. Then we've got another quartz layer and then five more layers of the mangrove planks like so. Uh, and then I believe that's six. There we go, five layers and then another quartz and then one, two, three, four, five to finish off with the mangrove planks again. So build that all the way around so you've got a cylinder. Now that's done, we're going to build the domed roof. And this is going to start by using the birch planks coming all the way around the edge of the build like so. Once we've done that, we're going to take some slabs and place them on these corner blocks. Then at the front of the build, we're going to place ourselves two stairs. On each of the other sides, we're going to have three stairs curving round, just like this. Then at the front here, we are going to place ourselves a couple of temporary blocks, just like this. And that is going to allow us to place a trapdoor here. It's important that the trapdoor is at the top so it flaps down and so you can use it to get into swim mode. We can then get rid of those blocks themselves and move on to the next step, which is taking three of the birch planks on each of these sides and then two here, just either side of this. And then we are going to take some more of the stairs and curve these round again on each of these sides. 
and we're also going to curve these round on this middle section as well like this because we can get in through this little gap finally we take three more on each of these areas to connect up and fill this section in and then we place ourselves on top a slab just to finish off the dome around the edges of this we are going to place some well not on this side we're going to place one of the trapdoors on this side on the other sides we're going to place trapdoors pretty much all the way around that we can so these ones are going to go on the corners so two on each of the corners and then three on the flat surface and then again finish this off three here close all of these and this has completed the top to finish off the outside of our silo, first of all, we are going to place ourselves a trapdoor here and then we're going to take out this block. And again, this is going to allow us to get into crawl mode to get inside the building here. Above this, we're going to place ourselves some ladders going all the way up the side, right the way until we get to the top here. And now we're going to use ourselves some of the iron bars. So around the top, we're going to create a protective area that comes out like this and we're going to do another one here that comes out round just connecting up those bars and another one just here like so and then just using some more bars we're going to connect up between the two of them on the sides all the way up and down the build right the way to the floor like this and for the final exterior step, actually we don't need those two at the bottom, we're going to bring up the polished deep slate wall and this is going to be like a pipe that would take the grain up or down and then we'll take out this trapdoor and finish that off at the top like so. For the interior we're going to use this trapdoor to get us inside and then we're going to replace this flooring with some of the birch planks like this. With the floor done, we're going to add ourselves a trapdoor just here, and this is going to be a spruce one to mean that we can get out again. And next to this trapdoor, we're going to run a line of ladders right the way up this build on the inside. Once we get to the top here, we are going to replace this full block with a birch slab, and then we're going to create a floor of the slabs going right the way across, obviously leaving the hole for this ladder. With the floor in place, we'll be able to go in and out of this ladder by using shift at the top. And we're also going to place ourselves a birch trapdoor up here. And we're going to place ourselves a birch slab here. And again, by shifting onto this, this will allow us to get into swim mode. That will allow us to get out the top and in the top as well. To finish decorating up here, what we'll do is we will place a couple of hay bales around in various different directions and sticking out like so just to kind of make it look a bit more used and then finish off by placing a lantern in this gap by taking out this block. Then we're gonna head down using shift click again and add ourselves some more floors on the section just beneath this white smooth quartz on each of the levels. To finish off each of these three floors, simply add an extra slab in the middle block on the roof of each of them and then I'm going to decorate each of these floors one with some hay bales one with some melons one with some pumpkins and then a mixture of barrels chests some crafting tables and some composters but you can put absolutely anything you like in here and here we have the finished build hopefully you've enjoyed the video if you have make sure you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos all that's left to be said is thanks very much for watching and I'll see you all next time on AD Craft.